Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this project, we're going to create this amazing authentication app using Next.js. Authentication is an important and sensitive feature in the application where the user credentials such as the username, email and password are validated to confirm if users are who they say they are. Using authentication, we can verify the user identity. In this project, we are going to build this amazing user authentication with three different authentication methods. User can log in with their Google account, with GitHub account or with their user credential. So let's suppose that user want to sign in with Google. You just click on this sign in with Google. Once the user click on that and log in with their Gmail account, the application will redirect him to the home page where the user can see their name and email. And he can easily sign out by clicking on this sign out button. We will also going to allow user to sign in with GitHub. If the user click on this GitHub link, user will navigate to the GitHub login page. When the user successfully sign in with GitHub, user can see their name and email. By clicking on the sign out button, user can easily sign out from this application. At the last, we build our own custom user credential authentication to verify the user. So if the user want to specify their email and password, he can easily do that. He just have to first sign up. When you click on it, you will see the register form. Here you specify your username, email and password. So let's suppose that if I specify the username and leave this email input as it is, then you can see you will get this red border to all these text boxes because we validated all these input text boxes. So let me just specify here random email, random password, something like this. And if the user want to see their password, he can click on this button. And now when the user click on this register button, he will redirect to the login form. And once the user redirect to the login form, he can easily sign in with their email and password. So just specify the email and the password. When I click on the login button, so now the user is authenticated with their own user credential. And now when you click on the sign out, you will redirect to the login form. You're also going to learn how you can make the restricted routes and this amazing UI design. So join this journey and follow along with me to learn something amazing. So before taking your too much time, let's get started. So I'm going to open the VJ Studio Code Editor, which we are using throughout this course. And then I'm going to open the empty folder inside it. And then I'm going to open the terminal. So I'm going to click on this terminal, new terminal. You can see I'm in my project directory. Now let me create a Next.js project. To create Next.js project, you have to say npx create next app and then specify your app name. I'm going to specify here name auth app. That's upon you. You can specify any name to your application. I'm going to specify auth name and press enter. Make sure you have node installed in your local system. So just say OK and press enter. This is going to create the auth app inside this project directory. Once the app is successfully created, you will see this successful message. And now what you have to do is you have to enter into your application. So you have to say here CD auth app and press enter. You will see you are in the application. Let me clear the screen and to run this app, you have to say npm run dev. This is going to start the application on the local host 3000. You can notice. If you want to follow along with me from this video, you have to just check in inside this main branch. So once you clone this project and enter into the project directory, you have to say git switch main. Using this command, you can follow along with me from this current video.